Hey guys, Rusty here at Ugly HP. Today we're working on an 08 Toyota Corolla. We are going to be pulling the clutch out of this and replacing it. <clears throat> I've already taken the battery out, air box out, air filter housing, and the cover. So far, just to get this far, I've only needed a 10 millimeter socket. So this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you guys what to do, and then I'm going to do it cut the camera back on show you the next step so once you've taken the top cover off your air filter box off and your battery out that you'll just need a 10 millimeter for this is on your air box you just pull it off and just let it hang to the side <clears throat> next thing we're going to do is there's three transmission bolts you can get with an extension on the top of the transmission they're 14 millimeter you're going to need a 12 millimeter to take off the slave cylinder we're going to unbolt the engine mount and undo a couple of the wiring clips and that'll get us to our next point. You don't need anything under the car for the engine mount because you have two mounts that are under it so it's not going to fall out of there. So we just need to get this engine mount out for now. Top transmission bolts, slave cylinder and get some of this wiring loom out of the way by unplugging it and undoing the grounds. And then we'll cut to the next one. Alright guys, so we got the top of the transmission unbolted, which those actually are 17 millimeters. The 14 millimeter over here is actually for the starter. We got our slave cylinder up out of the way. Um, we just unbolt the bracket. It's easier to, to put everything back in place if you unbolt the brackets. Plus it makes less stuff to catch like the harness. So that's why I always unbolt the bracket. So we got the, our shifter cables unbolted. All it is is a little clip and you just slide them out. We'll undo the bracket from the bottom. Uh, all of our ground cables, our mounts out, and we got it hanging. Uh, these things are real cheap. They're only like 60 bucks at Harbor Freight if you do a lot of front wheel drive vehicles. These things come in handy. I have seen people use 4x4s to chain them up, but that'll hold it in place once we pull these two side mounts. So this will hold it, and then your front mount over here will hold the motor from falling on you. Uh, once you get this far, now we're going to lift it up, uh, go ahead and pull your tires off, calipers and rotors, and then we'll show you what we got to do to get that CV axle off. Okay guys, we got the top part taken care of, now we're taking part of the middle. Um, we need to get the axle out, so it's got to come out of your spindle. After you take your rotor and your caliper off, Caliper is going to be a 14 millimeter. I zip tie them up high because I don't want to be the guy that has my hand here shaking shit and it smashes it. 17 millimeter on the bracket. Beat your rotor off. These two are going to be 19 millimeter. You're going to want to take this off 17 millimeter. It'll make it a lot easier to get the axle off. And the axle is 12.22 millimeter. Once you get that off, just set the axle to the side. When we get it up in there, we'll pop them out just to give us more room. So get that far, and then uh, we'll take care of the bottom next. Okay, so we got all of our side stuff off. Um, you can either leave the axles in or take them out. They're not really going to be in the way if you leave them in. I just take them out because it's more room, and they just pop back in. You're going to take this bracket or cross member off that mount you don't have to take the mount bracket off and then you have a mount back here that's going to come off and then you just have your transmission bolts now it's two ways to do this uh you could take this whole uh brain fart let me think for a second what it's called well you could take this whole bottom assembly off and this will easily access just come out and down Obviously, if you take that off, you have to remove the rack, tie it up, and stuff like that. What we're going to do is we're going to just pull it out, twist it uh, counterclockwise, and we're going to pull the rest of the way out, move it to the side this way, and drop it down. Uh, don't forget your shift link brackets, which are up in there. Also need to be unbolted. It's just two bolts, but everything's going to be 14 
Might run into some 17s and some 12s, but everything's basically 14 from here on out. So we're going to get this out, and we'll show you what we have on the clutch. Alright guys, as you can see, subframe's still in, so it does not need to come out. It's actually pretty easy without dropping it, even though they recommend. Uh, 12 millimeter on your clutch bolts, yank them out, and then just put everything back together the way it came, not in the order, but backwards, in reverse, and uh, you'll have your clutch done on your Corolla. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Hit the like button, subscribe, share with your buddies, and uh, we'll get you some more videos up here. Sorry this one wasn't full on, but I ain't got time to have some camera guy follow me around. Plus, I'm on top of doing other stuff in between. So, as always, keep on wrenching.